Hello and welcome back. My name is Wayne, a.k.a. Wayne the Whip, and this is my No Man's Sky permadeath playthrough. I've been running around like a crazy man, trying to get stuff and build stuff so that I can progress. I uh, found, well I didn't find, I created a new base on a system that doesn't have a space station. That way I can go back whenever I feel like to get cadmium. I did create the cadmium drive, I think it's called. And I've even cr crafted the mine dark. So I'm ready to go back and speak with Artemis. And why am I... What the hell is going on here? That's weird. All right. I don't know why I was airborne. I'm pretty sure I was landed right here when I last played. Anyway, so I've come back. So I've spared you some of the tedious stuff. I've created the mind arc. I've learned that you can make glass with, um, what's it called? Silicate? Yeah, silicate powder. I've upgraded my personal refiner to the Mark II, and it functions as a medium type refiner, which means for some recipes you need two things in order to get whatever the recipe calls for. There is something I need to craft, and I can't remember offhand what it is now. Um, I don't remember. Did I ever do this? I guess I checked that atlas already. Alright, so here we go. I still haven't found another glyph. I'm thinking... Oh, I did do uh, the first step of the atlas path. But I think you have to do that several times. And for completing the first one, I ended up with... Um, maybe nothing. I hope I didn't mess something up. I'll find out sooner or later. So I have the mind dark. Noel said I could use this to save Artemis. And the last time I called Artemis, it was Null instead. And then later I spoke with him. Why delay? Let's just use the Mind Arc. I activate the Mind Arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury. Some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh. Restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over their signal. All right. There you are. Travelers are a dream. You had it, Apollo too. Though they would conceal it, even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly, but the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself and hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progen... I... progen... oh god, never mind. It is the final act that... it is final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends await for you. All right. Whatever you say, you didn't really tell me anything about Artemis, though, did you? Seek help for, seek help for Artemis. Bring Artemis to Nada. Why am I using this ladder? Oh. Damn it! Go down. I'm 
I'm just admiring the shifting shadow as a result of the light reflected off of these rings, no doubt. Where is that line dark? Do I still have it? Um, it's not in here. Maybe it's a critical item that they don't want you to lose. All right, so I need to call the anomaly. Or do I already have it here? It's pretty close by. I think that's bringing me to the space station. For some reason, once you get within a certain distance of the anomaly, you can't go very fast. I don't know why. But a lot of aspects of this game are slow. There are a few people here. Everyone here is in permadeath mode. I don't think it matters what difficulty they're in. I could be wrong. I think as long as they're in permadeath mode, then you can see them. Alright, here we go. Now what? But it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. There is no such thing as a wrong time. Or a right time. There's time and not time. Uh, not as visors, light flares. Burning with concern and distress. Alright, I don't have time for your emotions right now. Reveal the mind dark. Never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. Who's this guy over here? But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain. Disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. How do you know? Artemis Echo will never have body again. Well, he didn't to begin with, right? I mean, he was dead. So he already didn't have a body. Yet, somehow, I was still able to communicate with them. We'll never explore again, old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine, it is something living. A refuge. This is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on. In, in case you're not aware, this isn't. A simulation, which is why this other simulation within this simulation is called a sub simulation, where they may live on or help Artemis Echo and end the suffering. I'm not convinced that he is um, suffering. He seemed lost. He wanted to be found. He wanted to be somewhere familiar. Uh, ask about the simulation, ask if there is another way. Let's ask about the simulation. Yeah, see, he's staring at you strangely like, well, don't you know? Because you're in a simulation. Right? They'll, they'll feel joy. They still have emotions. They could feel pain or joy. Well, how about us? 
we know we're in a simulation. Does it affect things? Not really. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. Or great happiness. Who knows? Um, let me ask about this just in case. All right, I've decided. There's really no difference between this simulation or another simulation. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machine no matter what your decision. When? I was just over there less than a second ago. Were you eavesdropping? Okay, decide Artemis fate at Nada's private terminal. All right, we'll just follow the mission marker. It's like a mini atlas. Probably not nearly as concerning as the simulation we're in now, or the simulation he came from. But life prefers life over that of non-life. And he wasn't asking to know the truth of whether or not he was alive or dead. He was simply asking to be found. So I'll grant him what he wanted. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker as he commune with the machine. The words on the panel unscramble themselves. Oh, he gave me his uh, authorization code. Well, that was nice of him. Can I put myself in here? This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Korvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. The only thing that bothers me is that it's just a single solar system. However, I mean, you could still live a good life in just a single solar system. Okay, so allow Artemis to die? Well, I mean, he's already dead. So this is like a trick question. Allow him to die. See, they're saying that because maybe they don't want you to do that. Allow Arte or upload Artemis. But regardless, he's not dead. He's in the simulation now. So I'm just going to put him in another simulation. Because according to the rules of this simulation, he's dead. is for my sake they will permit transmissions to and from this simulation at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems they warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life yes well maybe he'll wake up without any memory of how he got there just like I did just like everybody else Maybe I'm in one of those similar simulations. Only maybe this one's just a bit larger. Okay, speak with Nada and Polo if you wish. Return. Time to read it, damn it. Return to space and contact. Share the burden of an Artemis fate with Nada. Alright, I'll do that since I'm here.
Where is that marker? It's weird. It's still saying to speak with Nada and Polo, even though I just did. Annoying. Should I go see if I have any rewards while I'm here? I should. I kind of like the shape of that one. Simple. I like clean looking ships. Oh wait. Oh, oh over here. Alright, not that much. Oh, by the way, I have more money now. I found a crashed hauler and um, at even though it was a C class, I got around eight million for it, something like that. And I also managed to get another uh, augmented storage slot from it, so that when I'm ready to upgrade storage on the ship, I have two now. They don't look that expensive. Like when you check their value, it's something like one hundred and eighty thousand. However, when you see how much it costs to add space to a starship, you realize their true value. They're worth way more than that. Alright, let's go back here. Return to space and contact Apollo. Oh, I also... I didn't mean to start another secondary mission, but there was a crashed solar ship just floating in space, so I decided to, I decided to communicate and then it triggered this. I'll do that some other time. I like this parking spot. Why can't I always get it? Alright, so are we going to communicate in space? Yes, we are. Can I, can I communicate with Artemis still? I should be able to, right? Especially since I know where he is. I could check in every once in a while. See how he's doing, what he's doing. Nope, I'm not gone. I'm still here. Well, I did see the Atlas a couple of times. But if you're seeing the Atlas here, then what you're really seeing is a simulated representation of the Atlas within his own simulation. It's not a god, it's the machine. What do you mean Artemis is dead? Didn't I just explain all of this to him? What was I explaining to him? I should have read more carefully. Noel comes off all hard at first, but he's just a softy on the inside. 
Or I mean Apollo, not Null. Oh, now do I find a monolith, search for patterns in the data? These things are machines and we simply need to understand their code. Now do I earn a mission glyph? Use a monolith to locate a portal for Apollo. Well, I already know where one is. I guess we'll deal with this one. Since it's so nearby. From three days away to 11 seconds away. Power of impulse. Or pulse. After this, I think I, w I put a beacon at the location of that downed hauler. And even though it was a C-class, I still got 8 million from it. So I want to return and see if it's respawned. And if it has, if it's respawned as a different class. Because anything is better than a C. I don't think this is it. the mission marker go? Oh, it's over here. Did I just spin around in one spot? Okay, I've been cruising around looking for it. Usually the monoliths are... Oh, wait. Is this it? I think this is it. Okay. There's a storm coming in. Yeah, this is it. Let me grab some words first. Oh, oh we have some uh, hostiles. What is that? Zimmer me. I did nothing wrong. I've been thinking about uh, trying an Iron Man challenge. It wouldn't... I, I wouldn't let it become a main game for me. Or a main save. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. That's not how it usually works, but I guess that's the way it works for the purpose of this mission. Locate the portal for, for Apollo. Alright, I think it's going to be a bit of running around now. So I think I'll go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, as I progress further, I'll be, or I'm planning to play more and record less, but I'll still make it a point to record. And how often I record is just simply going to be determined by what's up next with my progress. But basically at this point, I'm real eager to get glyphs because I want to go and purchase a better ship and there's a specific ship I have in mind and I need uh, some glyphs in order to get there. I know you can speak to travelers 
to get the location of graves, which will give you a glyph. But I just don't remember exactly at what point the mission starts awarding you glyphs. So that's where I am right now. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later.